Hello everyone, welcome back to another informative video. Yes, Jazz here. You want to sleep now? Hmm? Come and tell everybody say. Say please subscribe. Come. <laughs> say hello, please subscribe. Say subscribe. What you want to sleep? <laughs> so much fun. How was school today? Ten the dog. <laughs> we ever asked him with school ago. What is the name of your school? Ten the dog. Yeah. Go on, stay with mommy. Now. Go. Help mommy. Help mommy. Go. Help mommy. Wait. 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 Help mommy, Jazzy. Help mommy. Go. Help mommy. Where is mommy? Help mommy. Mommy. <laughs> Alright, everyone. So, if you can recall. So, first of all, welcome back to another informative video. It's been a while. Right? Um, you know, work is work. You know that all of you should know that I'm basically working with the Department of Agriculture in the Turks and Caicos Islands. I'm the extension officer here and it's a lot of work so if you can recall in a previous video we spoke about um glyphosate right and glyphosate is basically an active ingredient in um, um a few pesticides such as roundup so we are going to talk about this ongoing case between the um large chemical company known as Bayer, uh, basically fighting a lot of court battles um, with you know people you know who have said that their glyphosate glyphosate related products um, has caused them illness uh, specifically um, cancer some people are saying it's safe well the company is saying it's 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 safe um, uh, and you know people are saying it's not safe because it's causing cancer and so on so let us look at this article posted by the Guardian on September uh, this one was posted September 4th 2023 and this one titles court hears class action case alleging link between Roundup and Australians with cancer right and I'll post this in the description as well. Now, this one is saying an Australian man who claims he developed cancer after regular exposure to a popular weed killer through his childhood and working life is one of hundreds fighting to prove the link between the product and their disease in, in a Melbourne court. The case has been brought on by Maurice Blackburn. More than 800 Australians diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma alleged their cancer is linked to their use of the herbicide Roundup, right? Which has in the herbicide Roundup has in the active ingredient glyphosate. Let us go on to another article. So this one titles Roundup Lawsuit Update October 2023, right? So this is basically a general update as to where the lawsuit is. Um, a number of persons have filed a lawsuit against um, Bayer, we're just going to read parts of it. So, Roundup Cancer Lawsuit. And as you know, Roundup is a popular herbicide used. Let us see how popular it is. Roundup, the most popular and profitable weed killer ever sold, uses glyphosate as its most active ingredient. Glyphosate is toxic to most broadleaf plants and grasses. It kills most plants it comes into contact with instead of targeting certain weeds our plants right Monsanto and now defunct company developed the product right because glyphosate kills anything it touches Monsanto developed plant seeds that were genetically modified to resist the damage of Roundup this is when residential Roundup sales skyrocketed so basically you could spray Roundup on certain crops and it and um, it doesn't cause it doesn't um, it does not burn the plants that you are protecting 
round up cancer last week. Monsanto has settled over 100,000 round up last week. Can you, can you imagine? 100,000. Paying out about 11 billion as of May 2022. There are still 30,000 lawsuits pending. This, in, this includes 4,000 cases in multi district litigation in California. So, round up lawsuit claims. Most lawsuits against Monsanto and subsequently Bayer have been settled. But in 2018, one of the first cases went to trial where a jury found in favor of a California school groundskeeper who used Roundup frequently for many years. The plaintiff's lawyers showed he was exposed to glyphosate repeatedly and that was the cause of his cancer. Hmm. While the jury did not find that the use of Roundup caused the individual's cancer, it found that Monsanto and Bayer did not do enough to warn the plaintiff that Roundup could cause cancer. Because of that failure, the jury awarded the plaintiff nearly 300 million in damages. <laughs> Following that case, two more high-profile cases resulted in, su in substantial verdicts for people deemed to be injured by Roundup. In one case, a person used Roundup for more than three decades. The jury awarded the individual 2 billion in damages. But a court later reduced that to 86.7 million, holding the original amount was excessive. Right? So people are getting paid out a lot of money. Right? Especially based on the duration of time you were exposed. So, does Roundup really cause cancer? And this is the same article from Forbes.com. While EPA and EPA is Environmental Protection Agency, so while EPA suggests that there is no direct link. The International Agency for Research on Cancer Stance is more in line with scientific evidence. A study from the University of Washington found that exposure to glyphosate increased an individual's risk of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma by 41%. The CDC recently released findings that, that up to 80% of Americans may have traces of Roundup in their urine showing they have been exposed to it. Considering that 200 million pounds of Roundup are spread annually on US crops, it is not surprising most of the population has been exposed to it. Well, not only, not only people in the US, worldwide, because a lot of Caribbean countries also import um, products from the US. So, let us see. So who can sue bear? Basically, who can sue bear? This is in the article. Simply using Roundup or another of the 19 Monsanto bear products with glyphosate isn't enough to file a claim. You will need to have suffered an injury. You understand? So you have to suffer an injury. So um, in most Roundup cases, that's a diagnosis for non-Hodgkin lymphoma. So you have, you have to catch cancer first before you can claim <laughs> so you will be exposed to this glyphosate exposed to it exposed to it and you feel fine right but because you know that you have been exposing yourself to it you feel like something might be going wrong it, it can't you can't just go to them like that i need compensation so you have to catch cancer first that is what the article said it says in most roundup cases that's a diagnosis for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. So you have to be diagnosed with non-Hodgkin lymphoma. Man, this word. Ne the cancer diagnosis will need to be linked to exposure to Roundup. That is it. The specifics of your health problems will play a central role in your lawsuit. You'll need to be ready to discuss details of your health, turn over medical records, and talk about personal aspects of your life. So. These people dig up everything of every medical aspect of your life. Right? So um so basically you can go and read the article. I link link it in the description. So what I'm trying to say here is that um if we go on for example in Jamaica, if we go on uh the pesticide control um authority um, that's the authority that basically regulates pesticide in the country coming in and so on. And if you look on their pest, go under their pesticide tab and, and look in the, um, I 
I think it's it says ban and restricted or pro- prohibited and on um restricted pesticides. You will find um glyphosate is 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 a part of the the restricted category. And um so our farmers in Jamaica I know they are exposed to to glyphosate and I am not sure if they are aware of the, this these kind of information in terms of what is happening right with with a lot of persons um developing non Hodgkin's lymphoma the cancer right and the amount of um the amount of court battles no with 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 the, um due to this glyphosate so that's basically it and please remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you again in another video. Bye-bye.